Listen, you got to look at this. If you thought the wind has been fierce around here, take a look at how strong it is in one of the coldest places in all of New England. That was atop Mount Washington. Look how much effort it took just to walk down the street. I mean, that's tougher than walking on like Tremont Street or the John Hancock right building block. Right behind the John Hancock, <laughs> I'd agree with you. Worse. But even with temps well below zero, scientists at the summit's observatory are out and about continuing to do their work. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg takes a look at what it's like to work outside in such frigid temps. Lately, if you've been thinking it's about as cold as it can get, try working at the highest point in New England the Mount Washington Observatory. It's really freaking cold, and I guess the scientific way to put it. Up here at 6,288 feet, the temp on Wednesday afternoon, a bone chilling negative 12. And add in the wind chill, we're talking negative 40 degrees. And keep in mind at night, it is much colder. Layers the name of the game as scientists head out to take measurements and check equipment every hour of the day every day as things start getting lower than around 10 or 20 degrees below zero it all feels the same level of cold and that's really freaking cold and the work up here continues much as it has since the late 1800s the mount washington observatory formally started up in 1932 the nonprofit research institution working to track and monitor new england's ever-changing climate that's kind of what drives us as meteorologists is this is a 92, 93 year plus data set. So it's not just me going outside to take a weather observation. So it really does feel like all of the work I'm doing is going to our very valuable resource. Crews work seven day shifts, living and working up here. The commute up Mount Washington takes two hours alone. And they say it can feel quite cozy, perched high above all of New England. I like to uh, explain this to my family as us living in a bunker. Um, we are rated for 300 mile an hour winds, probably one of the only buildings in the U.S. rated for 300 mile an hour winds. Talk about a very cool job where you're literally paid to chill. And Charlie says he can't help but laugh every time someone down here complains about just how cold it is. But he says he's warmed by the fact they're doing such important work up there, adding it's all worth it come summertime. In Boston, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.